Praise the Lord. All right. So far we have we have everybody inside and those who are in the waiting room. We, we want to welcome everyone this evening as we gather together for our last evening of elders, deacons, and wives meeting. I would say sorry that it is coming to an end. Uh, it seemed to be just the beginning, but we are thankful to God for this wonderful time of fellowship together. So it's good to see everyone this evening, and uh, we have Jeff standing by for Brother Andy, because Brother Andy is not with us this evening. So Jeff will be hosting our meeting this evening. Praise the Lord. We would like to encourage everyone to keep your mic muted. Only on mute if you have to speak. Praise the Lord. We are going to have the elders from the, the different islands sharing with us this evening, but before we go to the elders, I would like to leave a quote with you, and also I'd like to sing a song, Higher Ground. The quote says, in life, remember by faith we live. By love, we serve. By patience, we understand. By trials, we gain wisdom. By sharing, we give joy. Praise the Lord. Glory to God. Let us bow in prayer. Father, again, we just approach your throne, and we are thankful for this privilege that we can call upon you to ask your leading in this meeting. We thank you, dear Lord God, for the time spent. And we pray, dear Lord, as we do wait upon you this evening, let your Holy Spirit minister unto us. Because Father is not by might, is not by power, but is by thy Holy Spirit that we are led. And Lord, as you lead, we will follow. We pray, O oh God, that you would lead us even unto higher ground this evening. Lord, we know that what we have been through, Heavenly Father, and even in this hour, Lord, the days that are before us, oh God, you have everything under control. So the, the Heavenly Father, we pray as we submit ourselves to you, we ask that your will be done in our lives. Cause us, Lord God, to be obedient unto you, to be disciplined, according, dear Father, to your purpose. Lord, cause us to hear your voice. Hear and answer our prayers as we speak to you. And Lord, Father, we know that times we have to be still to know that you are there and allow you to speak to us. Thank you so much for taking charge of this service this evening as we commit it into your hands. Bless the elders even as they share. In Jesus' name. Amen. Praise the Lord. So you can keep your mics muted and you can sing along. I'm pressing on the upward way. I'm pressing on the upward way. New heights I'm gaining every day, still praying as I onward bow. Lord, plant my feet on higher ground. Lift me up and let me stand by feet on earth. Higher ground, 
Though some may dwell where these above, my prayer, my aim is higher ground. God lift me up and let me stand. My feet on earth and stable land, a higher place than I have. traveling deacons would like to share anything before we go to the local elders just unmute your mic and go ahead praise the lord Oh, praise the Lord. Okay. Uh, both Gay and I, uh, um, from North Vancouver, Canada, are very happy to be able to join with all of you dear folks down in the Caribbean and Guyana. It's so good to see your faces and to see your smiles. And uh, we look, very for look forward to hearing from the elders and the deacons in the various churches on the islands. And uh, thank you for being here today. We love you all, and uh, let's keep pressing on into the kingdom. God bless you. Amen. Thank you very much, Brother Marcus. And Sister Gay. <laughs> bless the Lord. Praise the Lord. Yes, I would, I would just like to uh, say hello to everyone in the Caribbean. It's been a while since I've seen seen you all. And uh, I'm Rick Gaskowitz. Uh, if you didn't see my name under there, from North Carolina, but also the United States. And uh, just thank the Lord that I'm able to see everyone's faces again. It's been a long time and uh, just give you greetings. And uh, since this thing, is, this pandemic has gone on, we don't get to see each other as much. And uh, it's nice to come on here and be able to see everybody's faces and see how, how good you all look. I'll tell you, it's a, I used to say a lot of times, you're a sight for sore eyes. So my eyes are sore, so you're a good sight. But, uh, the only thing that I would just say, the same thing as Marcus said, the Lord bless you and keep on 
keep it on, but uh, uh, I do believe with all my heart the Lord's in charge. And all these things that are that are coming our way and all over the world, uh, uh, the Lord's in charge. But we do can sing this song very aptly. All over the world, the Spirit is moving. All over the world, as the waters of the sea. All over the world, there's a brand new awakening. As the glory of the Lord, as the waters cover the sea. And I just think that uh, the Lord has got something special for us. And he is going to protect us. And I look forward to hearing from different ones. But I just want to say hello to you because I missed the first night and I caught party all the second night. So uh, had some things going at the home at the home we had to take care of. So, but the Lord bless you and uh, hope to see you soon. Thank you, Rick. Praise the Lord. It's so nice to know that the spirit of the Lord is moving all over the earth. Praise the Lord. It doesn't matter your distance, but we can feel the same spirit moving through our bodies. Through our lives. Praise God. Yes, amen. Brother James? Yes, Brother Sun. Uh, Good evening. Just thought I'd uh, my uh, video is not very good here. It's a little bit dark, but anyway, it's it's nice. I've been with you for the last uh, two meetings, and uh, I've really uh, appreciated and enjoyed the uh, ministry uh, of you, brethren. And uh, we're here, of course, in North Battleford, which is the, uh, I think it was about uh, nine degrees here today. So uh, <laughs> you can, <laughs> we've had frost already, already, and uh, so it's a little bit chilly here in, uh, in, in Saskatchewan. But uh, but uh, there is always uh, warmth where the Spirit of the Lord is. Amen. And, uh, we praise God for that. And uh, God is moving by His Spirit. He's moving yes. in all the earth. Yes. Uh, and uh, we always need to remember that He's in charge and control of everything. Amen. Very nice to be with you tonight as well, Brother uh, James and uh, the rest of you. I haven't been in the Caribbean for quite a while. And uh, I don't know if I'll ever make it again. But, uh, you know, the... Uh, uh, age creeps up on you, and uh, I've, uh, I've I've gotten there. <laughs> so anyway, nice to be with you, brother. Thank you very much, brother Sunbu, and it's nice having you with us this evening. And um, even though you're not in the Caribbean physically, you're here spiritually. Praise the Lord. Amen. Amen. Good having you and the diary. Praise the Lord. <clears throat> Well, I certainly appreciate seeing all of you as well, and I, it's nice. Uh, it's just amazing that uh, we can can see you. And I've never been to the uh, to to uh, any of the camps down there, but uh, this is a real privilege to be able to uh, be with you and fellowship with you in this way. And I'm really enjoying it. And thank you all for being here. Amen. Uh, we have just heard from Brother Byron Price, one of our traveling elders. Thank you very much, Brother Byron, and it's nice having you with us. Praise the Lord. Good evening, Brother James. Good evening, Brother Eldon. How are you? Oh, I'm blessed. Thank you. You're, you're looking beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. I brother. just wanted to send my greetings to you all, too. It's been a long time since I've been down to the Caribbean, and uh, but I don't forget you. Okay. I, just, I just loved every moment that I have been with you down in the Caribbean. Lord. Although we can't be there physically, this is quite a nice uh, gathering virtually. It's nice, nice to see you all and our greetings from us here at home. Lord bless you all. May the Spirit of the Lord be our portion tonight. Amen. 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 Keep it up. Keep, keep young, my brother. That is Brother Eldon Olson. And it's nice having you with us in this meeting, Brother Thank Eldon. You. Thank you. God bless you. Praise the Lord. I can just briefly mention 
greetings from God's country, North Carolina, where I'm now, where we now call our home. Um, so look forward to having open ears and an open heart to the Lord's doing and what the Lord has in mind. So you elders, I'd like to encourage the elders to just be, be yourself, be frank, be bold, because we are here to receive of God's word from you. God bless you all, to you, the elders and the deacons, and from the various assemblies in what in my part of the world, uh, originally from Guyana that I call home. So, God bless you. Thanks. Praise the Lord. And that is from Brother Robert Passar, from Guyana, but is now residing in North Carolina, the United States of America. Praise the Lord. Thank you, Brother Robert. Bless the Lord. I'll just say a quick hello to everyone. This is Nathaniel Swan from Canada, uh, Ontario, uh, about three hours uh, northwest of Toronto. Uh, and I just uh, won't cut into the elders' time. Just say hello to everybody. God bless you. Really enjoy sitting, seeing you. My wife says hello. She's over there too. God bless you. Amen. Thank you, Brother Swan. God bless you, everybody, wife. Praise the Lord. Praise God. Hello to everyone. Greetings from Sweet St. Vincent, Brother Sufus Ford. Alongside me is Sister Molly Ford. And her birthday will be tomorrow. <laughs> she get a younger tomorrow. So, <laughs> we can just do what we want. God bless you all, and I'm looking forward to hearing from the elders tomorrow. May the blessings of the Lord that make it rich have it no sorrow. God bless you. Amen. Thank you for the board and support. Praise the Lord. Amen. This is Brother Brian here. I am having technical difficulties. Um, I'm seeing you on my cell phone and hearing you on the laptop. But uh, we really, Marjorie and I really are blessed to be the same family with all of you there. And uh, we really uh, greatly appreciate all the members of the churches there and we look forward to the ministry that we'll hear tonight. Our, our equals in the Lord and uh, we will benefit from their ministry. We'll build the church as we uh, hear from the various ones there. So. God bless you. We miss you. But uh, like our brother Bernard James said, that uh, we're actually together in the realm of the spirit. Is all. So how could we be apart? Amen. Amen. Thank you very much, brother Brian from Canada. Praise the Lord. Good evening to everyone. Good afternoon. I'm Joyce Lynn Lewis here from Trinidad, in Trinidad, and we are thankful to God for his blessings, thankful to God for these meetings, seeing every one of you. I'd like to wish you the very best of everything with this pandemic that is on. May the Lord continue to keep us all safe in him and protected from whatever is happening. I think there is a lot that we can look forward to in the realm of the spirit. Um, there are testings as yet that will come our way, but God is able to keep that which we have committed unto him against that day also. I pray that we would not lose heart, but we would just have that faith in him and regardless of what is happening, 
Let us keep focus on the one who declares, I am the way, the truth, and the life. May God bless everyone and keep us all safe in him. And as you elders and deacons share this evening, may the spirit of God rest mightily upon each and every one. Let his peace prevail. God bless you all. We thank God for you all. We love you all. And may the tide, so to speak, turn that we can again be physically together. Hallelujah. God bless you. Amen. Thank you very much, Brother Crafton, from Deep South, Trinidad, and Tobago. Praise the Lord. I think we can move on to the local elders and uh, those who haven't had the opportunity to share. We can give you the opportunity after we finish with the elders and where we would come to a close of our 2020 elders, deacons, and wives meeting. Praise the Lord. So now we are going to begin with Antigua. I, I saw a message from Brother Tashi. He said, Brother Conrad, you will go first because C comes before T. Praise the Lord. So, Brother Conrad. Unmute your mic. Can you hear me? Yes, sir. Loud and clear. Okay. Good evening to everyone and greetings from Antigua and Barbuda. I would like to extend um, our, our greetings to all the churches, to all the elders and wives, uh, apostolic brethren and wives. Uh, it's good for us to be here tonight so that we can fellowship together. First, I would like to uh, just say uh, sorry for yesterday. If you notice, our screen went blank. That is as a result of we losing our electricity. So that is one of the reasons why uh, our screen went blank. I would just like to apologize for that. Uh, I, I am glad that we can share together. We know that the Spirit of God goes uh, beyond the land, beyond the boundaries, and we can connect in the realm of the Spirit. Tonight, I would like to just encourage the brethren that us whole strong let us hold fast to the things that we have been taught although we uh, as i said to the, the to the church presently uh, the apostolic elders they are unable to travel and to come to our shores but then we have been grounded we have been placed upon a rock which is a sure foundation and we know that Christ is our foundation. And because we have Christ as our sure foundation, we can move on in the realm of the spirit. Uh, there are a lot of things that are changing around us. We are aware of that. The times are changing. Circumstances are changing. And uh, we have to learn to adapt to the time in which we live. Presently, uh, we are in a pandemic and uh, that have changed our, our way of doing things, our way of dressing. Whenever we leave our home, we have to make sure that we have our mask on or else we will not be able to get into the supermarket, we will not be able to get into the church, we will not be able to get into the school. So, Masking is part of our, of our dressing today. We saw that, you know, in far uh, countries, but uh, eventually came to our shores. 
and we have to we have to live with it and so we are learning to live with what uh, they call the new norm okay but in spite of it all we have the word of god as our guide as our foundation and one thing we are certain is though the time change though the season change our god never changes praise the lord and we we thank god tonight for that there is there is a uh, two scripture that i would like to read and uh first is in uh first peter chapter 5 and verse 8 first peter chapter 5 and verse 8 that says be sober be vigilant because your adversary the devil as a roaring lion walking about seeking whom he may devour be sober be vigilant in uh, first thessalonians chapter 5 also and verse 6 first thessalonians 5 and verse 6 says wherefore let us not sleep as do others but let us watch and be sober for they that sleep sleep in the night and they that be drunken are drunken in the night let us who are of the day be sober putting on the breastplate of faith and of love and for an helmet the hope of salvation we've been called to be sober and to be vigilant now we've been asked to watch to watch means to look when you watch you look when you are in looking you we are called to pay attention and this is this is calling upon each and every one of us to pay attention to the things that are happening around us to watch means to keep an eye on yeah we keep an eye on the things that are happening around us and to be sober means to be solemn and to be serious in the time in which we live uh, it is a time that we we be serious with the Lord, be serious with the things of God, be serious with the things that we've been called on to. And as we, as we do that, we are, we are paying attention. Pay attention to what is happening around us because the word, as the word of God declares to us there, our adversary, the devil, he's going about as a roaring lion. Now we've been hearing We've been, we, we've been looking at the news and we've been hearing a lot of things about uh, the virus and uh, the, 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 everything related to the virus. But um, we must keep our eyes upon God. Well, as far as the, 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 the pandemic virus uh, is concerned, we as elders we are waiting for the apostolic brethren to address the church concerning the virus and the the, the uh, everything related to the virus we are waiting for them to tell us what it is that we are into what it is the world is getting into because we know that the enemy is not asleep yeah the enemy is not asleep when we when we are resting he's working overtime and the word of god is saying to us that, that he is as a roaring lion seeking whom he may devour but our hope is in the lord our trust is in the lord amen and so my encouragement to all my fellow elders and deacons is that we be vigilant we be sober 
we be watchful. Pay attention to what is happening. Pay attention to what is going on around you. Because the enemy, is, is, he is very cunning. And he knows how to do his work. And when he does his work, he does it very good. Oh, but bless God. God have done his work in our lives and he's continuing to change us and to transform us more and more into the image and likeness of the Son of God. So we are there, we are holding on, and we are, we, we, we are learning to, to live with, uh, with the pandemic. And I am not sure if our, if our life will go back to what it was because everything around us is changing. Amen. So um, this is my this is my uh, encouragement uh, to 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 the to the to the saints, to my fellow elders, uh, those who we, we long to see. We we were able to have camp this year that we could meet and fellowship and uh, encourage each other. But here we are tonight. We thank God for this medium that we can still you know encourage each other in the Lord. So my encouragement to all the brethren, be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. And uh, as elders, we are waiting to hear from the apostolic brethren. We've been hearing all kinds of things, but we are waiting as elders to hear from the apostolic brethren as far as this virus is concerned, as far as this... Um, the the uh, the the pandemic and the uh, the vaccine we've been hearing this this is the word I'm looking for the vaccine and everything that goes to the, with the vaccine and the ID and everything we've been hearing all kind of manner of of things but we are waiting on our apostolic brethren to address the church concerning that. Okay, so this is my, this is my uh, encouragement to all my fellow elders and apostolic brethren and their wives. May God bless you and uh, may we continue to grow in strength in the Lord. Amen. Amen. Thank you very much, Brother Conrad. Praise the Lord. And now we move over to Brother Tashimai. Well, praise the Lord. We give God thanks. You, you hearing me? Oh, yes, sir. Oh, we give God thanks. We give him all the praise and all the glory. Amen. And as Brother, Brother Conrad encouraged us to hold fast. And we're looking unto God that he will continue to do a work within us. For the work was started. And day by day, line by line, precept for precept, he's changing us more into the likeness of his son, Christ Jesus. For once we were a slave, a slave to sin and a debtor to the flesh. But thank God, because of the son of God, Christ Jesus, we're no longer a slave to sin. But now he's changing us and transforming us more into the likeness of his son, Christ Jesus. Amen. And because of that change which he has started in our lives, we are now being adopted into the sonship, into and becoming more like Christ. So when we were slaves, we were debtors to the flesh. As we read in Romans 8, but now, because we have this new birth and we are adopted into the sonship of Christ, we are now heirs and joint heirs with Christ. Amen? And because of that, we have a new identity with Christ. And we have a new status with Christ, where he had called us from the beginning, even before the foundation of the earth, he had called us to be what he wants us to be. And we have a new position with him. Glory be to God. Because of that one single act that Christ 
himself, gave of himself, and show his death, we are now a new creature. Amen? Glory be to God. Going on in sonship to attain the likeness of Christ himself. And not, also, also, not only that, in Revelation, we hear that we are new, have a new name. A new name. And our name is written in the Lamb's Book of Life. Glory be to God. So we are no longer a slave. And as a song once says, the songwriter, one song this is sing, say, we are no longer a slave to fear. No, I am a child of God. Every time I hear this song, it brings a new meaning to me. Not just no longer a slave to fear, but becoming a child of God. Glory be to God, which is what he called us to be in his kingdom. So I pray, to, I pray that we will just continue to hold on. Hold on to that strong belief in Christ through the work of the Holy Spirit and dwelling within us that we will continue holding on, walking in his way and let him, the Spirit of God just continue to just rest upon us all. May his will be done in each and every one of us. Glory be to God. May God bless us all as we continue to walk in the path that is pleasing unto him. God bless. Amen. Amen, Brother Dashi. Thank you very much. God bless Amen. you. Amen. Lord. Brother Patrick King from Barbados. So good to see Brother King from Barbados. Praise the Lord. Brother King, unmute your mic. Okay, you are now muted. Uh, sorry for that delay, but I remember my, my technician hooked me up. Amen. So, um, I know the customer, this, this machines you use now, you know. So um, I had to get my technician. <laughs> yeah. All right. Uh, I just want to say greetings to one and all. We haven't been seeing each other for quite a long while because of this. We call it a pandemic, but I, I, I call it a, a plague. But it's affecting the whole world. And um, I, I'm glad that for this opportunity that has prepared itself for us to be able to uh, have this as uh, a deacon in this manner. God moves in a mysterious way and wonders to perform. Amen. No, we have no control of what is going on. God is in control. He knew a way back what, what, what would take place in the year 2020. And when we think of 2020, we think of vision or vision, 2020 vision, which is perfect vision. God has seen it different that he's allowed this to happen to us for a reason which we do not know, but he is in control. So we have to put our trust in him. Um, I just want to give you greetings from the church in Barbados. I hope that Brother Leacock will be able to follow on um, and I'm finished. Um, just want to direct our thoughts on Psalm 18, the first five verses. Before we go into that, it says here, and we, and, and this is to the chief musician, the Psalm of David, the servant of the Lord, who spake unto the Lord the words of the song in the day that the Lord delivered him from the hand of all his enemies and from the hand of Saul, and he said, I will love the Lord, I will love thee, O Lord, my strength. The Lord is my rock and my fortress and my deliverer, my God, my strength in whom I will trust, my buckler and the horn of my salvation and my high tower. I will call upon the Lord who is worthy to be praised, so shall I be saved from mine enemies. That's Psalm 18, verse 1 to 3. You have here 
for us. Uh, I must bear with me because my vision is not as good as it used to be. Um, so I have to depend on uh, reading very close up. Now, it says that the Lord is my strength. I, I will love thee, O Lord, my strength. You know, we, we in our human nature, we are weak, but God is our strength. He strengthens us. He lifts us up from our fallen state that we might be able to praise, and to praise him and to encourage one another to walk in the things of God. He's our strength. And we as brethren in the body of Christ, we need to strengthen one another. We need to encourage one another. We need to walk on in the things of God. I say strength is power by reason of influence. Power, strength is authority. God has given us authority over the work of the devil. The devil is of the roaring lion seeking whom to devour. But we are called by God to be able to manifest his love towards one another so that the, the, the devil would not be able to take control of our lives. So we have authority from God. The devil, many people have the authority from the devil, but he is or less as far as God is God. God is all, almighty. God is all powerful. So we need to trust him and use the authority that God has given unto us. It also said that, um, said that he's, the Lord is my rock and my, and my fortress. Rock is a solid stone um, in the earth. He said the rock is a hard material of the earth's crust, a firm foundation our support. Now the rock is our security. We as members of the body, we are secure in Christ. We need to put our confidence in Him, and so that we would be able to move on together. It's, we are. Uh, we should be a together people moving on together under the strength and under the anointing of the Holy Spirit, for He is our source. He's one on whom we can find our strength and our uh, uh, and our joy and our happiness. It also says it's our fortress. A fortress is a building or a town set apart for uh, as a place of security. God is our security. So therefore he is our fortress. He is our strong tower. The devil is trying to destroy it, destroying us and destroy that tower. But if God strikes it the vessel, he can smile at the storms of life with the devil seek the one to put, put, put upon us. And also say that he is our deliverer, one who delivers or sets us free. God sets us free from the, from the hand of the enemy. We need to put our trust in him and move on together as brothers and sisters in the body of Christ. So he is our deliverer. The devil Want to, want to tangle us up and tie us up, but God is there to deliver us, to set our bonds, those bondage, those bondage free, that, that, that God will have the glory. Then we are supposed to trust in Him. Trust is a form of firm belief in the reliability, truth, or strength. He's our confidence, He's our sure hope. He's the one by whom we can trust and know that He is able to do all things for us. Even in this pandemic, in this pandemic situation, if you find ourselves, this pandemic situation has caused the church to be uh, so set apart. We're no longer able to meet and embrace each other and shake hands and hug each other and express our love to one another. But God, in His infinite goodness and mercy, is going to bring us back together in some time. We do not know how, when, or where, but let us put our trust in Him. And He and that the short confidence that he is able to deliver us from this pandemic, this plague, and it's affecting the whole earth. It also says he's our buckler. Buckling a strong, round shield with a grip for holding, and sometimes with straps to which the arm is fast. It's a means of defense or protection. That's the, that's the, the buckler, the shield, it's a protector. Let us therefore uh, hold on to that, to his unchanging love that binds us together. He does it in our salvation, the act of saving or 
protecting from harm or loss, deliverance from sin and damnation. So therefore, he is our savior. He is our protector. He is our guide, our shield. He's everything to us. Let us hold fast. Don't let us let go. So no matter what the tide or time might be, let us hold fast to the things of God. He says he's our high tower. It's our strength. He saves us and keeps us together. So therefore, let us, as we go through this, 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 this play that we are facing from the face of the earth, let us not give up. Let us trust God. And let us become more involved in the things of God. And he will bring all things to pass. For he is our sure foundation. God bless us. May God keep us in his will. Even though we don't see each other, as we ought to see each other and fellowship together, we used to be. He is still on the throne. And he will not, he will not uh, cast us away, but he will bring us closer together. May his love continue to unfold us. May he keep us in his will. And we continue to serve him. Day and night. Praise God. Amen. Thank you very much, Brother King. Praise the Lord. Is Brother Lecoq close to you? He's at home. He's at his home. Oh, okay. All right. Thank you. Brother Lecoq, are you there? Yes, I'm here. All right. You're hearing me? Yes, we're hearing you loud and clear, Brother Liko. Could you turn on your video? Praise the Lord. <clears throat> um, it's a wonderful thing for brethren to dwell together in unity. As a matter of fact, the words say, you hold how good and pleasant a thing it is for brethren to dwell together in unity. Am I loud enough? Am I loud enough? Yes, you are. Um, well, greetings to everyone in the name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, our sure foundation. And um, without much ado, I'd like to turn to the scripture, which is found in Ephesians chapter 6, verse 8. And it reads as follows, knowing that whatsoever good thing any man doeth, the same shall be received, the same shall he receive of the Lord, whether he be bond or free. Now, in these times, as a brother was saying earlier, that we must look at the times, and uh, of course, when you look at the times, then it's time for decision making. It's time sometimes to make changes. It's time to count the cost and see what is necessary to please God. Perhaps we might be settled in a particular form and believe that everything is okay, but God has asked us to re-examine ourselves and seek what he requires of us that we may take a move forward not in our own will but in his perfect will. Now <clears throat> when I look at the scripture the thing that arrests me most was knowing that whatsoever good thing. And I question myself as to what is good. And uh, good is to depart from evil. And I believe that if we, or if everyone can depart from evil, then there wouldn't be anything left for us to fear, anything left for us to be uh, worried about, but there would be an atmosphere of praise and thanksgiving for what God has done for each and every one of us. 
I believe that there are times when we become complacent and we believe that what has happened in the past is good for the future. And therefore, we just sit and we enjoy ourselves in the past and we comfort ourselves in the past. But God is asking us to rise up and seek and do what he has asked of us. Now, one of the main things that we will have to challenge when we are asked to depart from evil is to find what conquers evil. And the thing that conquers evil is love. And love is a word that has been badly used, abused, and treated by man in whatever form he thinks that it should be brought forth. But God has given us a guideline as to what love really is. And it begins with Jesus saying to us, love your enemies. Now, I know that this is a difficult pill for most of us to swallow, but we can, if we put our trust in God, if we allow him to have that space in our lives that he requires to occupy, then we can love our enemies. And one way to begin to have love for our enemies is to start praying for them. We know that when we begin to pray for our enemies, I've had the experience that the flesh or the mind of the flesh would want us to desist from praying for our enemies. Don't ask God's blessings upon them. Don't ask God to bless them. In other words, it's quite the opposite. The flesh would want us to ask for a curse upon them. But if we could persist in praying for them, praying that good things would happen, that God can somehow find place in their lives to transform them from being evil to become that which is good, then we find that there will be great success. And we will see changes coming among us that removes the fear that once darkened our lives. We are asked also to take care of the unfortunate, those who cannot invite us to their parties, their functions, or whatever it might be, those who are not in a position to invite us home for a dinner or to shower us with presents or things like that, but we're asked to look out for them and to care for them and to love them and make them feel as if they're part of us, they're one of us, and we're no different to them. And if we can follow these common little principles, this world and our lives will be a better place for us. And that is what God expects of us. That is the example that Jesus showed us when he, after supper, took off his garment and wrapped himself in a towel and he went down and he began to wash his disciples' feet. Such a humiliation from a leader to a servant. I believe that it just rocked their minds. They were wondering, what is he doing, and why is he doing it? And Peter himself said, Lord, you shall never wash my feet. But what did Jesus say? If I wash thee not, you will not have any part with me. And these are the little examples that we need to follow. These are the things that we need to look out for. Not for the sake for someone to call us good, but because these are good things that God requires of us. 
When you think of the Good Samaritan, the, the, the one who was struck down on his way, he was robbed, he was beaten and left to die. The one whom we would look up to and say, well, he's a nice man because he's a high priest. He's an honored man and we should honor him. He passed on the other side as if nothing had happened. The one who served in the temple, he went and he looked on him and he went away and left him in a similar condition. But the one that was despised by the one that had fallen, who would have been despised and rejected and uh, set at naught, he lighted off of his beast and he went and he poured oil in his wounds. He put him on his beast and he took good care of him. These are the things that God wants us to do to those who hate us, to those who would destroy us, to those who would say evil things about us. Because the love of God is strength. The love of God is power. The love of God is everything that man requires today. In these times of the pandemic, when we are not able to assemble in our various assemblies, I think God has opened the door that we can reach those on the outside. Because very often we are on the inside and who are on the out are left to themselves. But God wants us to care for the dying, lift up the fallen and move on with his grace. I hope I haven't taken too much time. So I'll close here by saying, may the great God of heaven bless us all, empower us, encourage us to follow the pattern that Jesus followed and love our neighbors as we love ourselves. God bless you all in Jesus' name. Thank you, Brother Nico. Let's move on now to Dominica. Hello. Hello, brother Jen. Yes, brother Ephraim. Hi. Hi, good evening. Good evening. Praise God. Well, we give God thanks for being here, being able to um, join the rest of the brethren, um, elders and deacons. We, we are here, we are over at um, Brother Richards, Brother Daniel, uh, myself and my wife, we are over there, and we just give God thanks for being able to fellowship with the rest of the, the brethren and even to see some of the faces that we haven't seen in a long time. I, I feel less uh, seeing Brother King. It's been, it's been years <laughs> that we, we haven't seen Brother King. So it's nice seeing um, the rest of the brethren. Um, we thank God for for what he's doing in the earth today. Uh, we thank God for inspiring those that he have called, even, you know, to be in a setting as this. You know, a lot is said about the COVID-19 and, you know, we were wondering how long it would take before we can fellowship together. But we thank God, you know, that he have inspired men, you know, to, to be able to come up with a setting like that, that we can see in other places. And, and we thank God for that. Uh, over the, the, the past um, two nights, three nights, we 
So we have been encouraged. The elders, we have been encouraged. And we thank God for those that he has set, you know, even to, to guide the church in, in, in different matters. So we thank God for, for the teaching, Brother Andy, Brother Calvin. We thank God for for the things that were shared that were shared with us. Um, I want to just encourage my fellow elders and deacons. You know, let us continue to be faithful. Brother Conrad mentioned earlier that you know the, the, the enemy is Satan is like that roaring lion seeking whom he may devour. You know, let us be faithful in, in such a time like this. And I just want to read two scriptures. Uh, one is found in Daniel. In Daniel chapter 6. Daniel chapter 6. Let me just Daniel chapter six and we can read from verse three and it says then this Daniel was preferred above the presidents and princes because an excellent spirit was in him And the king sought to set him over the whole realm. And verse 4 says, Then the president and princes sought to find occasion against Daniel concerning the kingdom. But they could find none occasion of all. For as much as he was faithful, neither was there any error of all found in him. Praise yeah. God. And I just want to encourage, you know, our fellow elders and deacons. Yes, we might um, be faithful when we, when it comes to the things of of, of God to, to and the church. But sometimes we have to go out to work. We need to be faithful on our jobs as well. Because as our brother says, the, the, the enemy of our soul is as that roaring lion seeking to devour. And, and things will, will come up on our jobs and the people we meet. Let us remain faithful. It says that the, the, the princes and the presidents sought an occasion to find against Daniel concerning his job. But they could find none because he did his job faithfully. And so too, you and I are called to do our jobs faithfully. Glory be to God. Another um, scripture I just want to touch on is in Proverbs because we we're hearing a lot about the pandemic and, and men had today is filled with fear. You know, but we as the children of God, we know in whom we believe. We know in whom we trust. We know in whom our confidence is. We say he's the king of all kings. We say he's the lord of all lords. He's master of the seas. Glory be to God. And, and I just want to encourage us that even as we go through this period, that we should not fear, but that we should keep our eyes upon that hill from whence coming for our health, because our health is in our God. So in Proverbs chapter 3, just two verses of Scripture in verse 25 and 26, where it says, Be not afraid of sudden fear, neither of the desolation of the wicked when it cometh. For the Lord shall be thy confidence, and shall keep thy 
food from being taken. Praise the Lord. The Lord shall be our confidence. The Lord is our confidence. Glory be to God. And he will continue to watch over us. He will continue to guide us and, and to lead us. Glory be to God. You know, as, as I mentioned earlier, you know, I was wondering when we would be able to meet face to face again. But God has made it possible that we could see one another. He will take care of us. Glory be to God. Let us just continue to rest in him and trust him, put our confidence in him, and he will make everything plain. May God bless each and every one. Amen. Thank you very much. That is, that, that was Brother Ephraim Joseph from the oh, church of Dominica. Okay. Praise the Lord. Please remember, elders, to say who you are and where you're from. Brother Bernard Richards. I apologize. <laughs> sorry, sorry. It's Bernard Richards from the list. And, uh, we try what we come to this um, weekend there. And um, just asking God to continue to fill me and my brethren and we carry on in a perfect work of what we have to do. So, it is wonderful to know certainly that we are still with each other in that. So, so, so bless you all. And bless you. Amen. Thank okay. you very much, Brother Richard. Um, so we now move to Grenada. Grenada. Good night, each and everyone. This is Brother Devon from Grenada. Giving greetings to each and everyone. You know, it's a, it's a pleasure to see all of you who I haven't seen in a very long time. So I trust and pray that God will continue to bless all of you and your family, even in a time like this. And I just want to share with us tonight from the, the book of Psalms, Psalm 32, verses 7 and 8. Psalm 32, 7 to 8. Thou art my hiding place. Thou shalt preserve me from trouble. Thou shalt compass me about with song, with song of deliverance. I will instruct thee and teach thee in the way which thou shalt go. I will guide thee with my eyes. Um, I just want to say that we need to continue to, to trust in the Lord because God promises us that he will instruct us and he will teach us in the way in which we should go. He, we are... Um, we can take comfort in the fact that God, that God's promises are sure, and it will counsel us in, in a loving, by, we, with his loving eyes, he will direct us. Just, we need to remember that his guidance flows from his love. And, um, As the psalmist says in the ending of the passage, that as he concludes that the, the Lord's unfailing love surround us, surround those who trust him. If we want the Lord's love to surround us, we ought to trust him. And as we trust him, we can rest in his promises as he guides us through life's rocky passages. And in a time like now with this pandemic, this is 
a rocky time. And this is a time when we have to say as children of God, that God, I trust you, I believe in you, and I will continue despite the circumstances, despite the situation, no matter what come, I will trust you, I will continue to believe that you are my God, my all in all. So let us not forget to continue to trust him, believe him that he is the God that he said he is, that he will protect us despite the circumstances. May God bless you all tonight. Amen. Thank you very much, Brother Collins. Praise the Lord. And we move to Brother Cardinal Oro. Pleasant and good evening to each and every one, and it's so good that we can come together in such a way, which shows us, you know, that this is God's real concern, and His way are leading us. You know, as the song says, God is moving us on, and He's leading the way, and indeed, He's really leading the way. I bring greetings from myself and my wife. And it's so good that I can hear so many different voices and we all are saying the same thing. It's wonderful that, you know, we have such an experience and an experience that could bring, bring us onto like in the day of Pentecost, when we, you know, in one accord, because I didn't hear anybody say something that is not, you know, in the line of we God and us is concerned. And I'm thankful for such. I want to just encourage us all, as this passage of scripture say on to us, that Ephesians 6, 10. Be strong. Finally, my brethren, be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. Brethren, God, he's alive and he would be forever alive and he's fully taking care of us. God bless you. Have a wonderful evening. Amen. Thank you very much. That was Brother Cardinal Horo from Grenada. Praise the Lord. We, don't, we now move on to Guyana. Brother Osalmo. Good night, brothers and sisters in Christ. Tonight I am blessed to be a part of this meeting. First of all, I must apologize on, for last night. I happened to be late and could not hear everything that was said, but I received a text from Brother Robert sending his sympathy to myself and family concerning my mom who went to be with the Lord. We, the family, are very thankful to him for his prayer, but Andy Snow, who prayed for us, and we are continue looking towards the brethren for their prayer in a time like this. I want to thank God for this new moving of his spirit because I do believe that this meeting online, it is a new move of his spirit so that we, the brethren, can meet together. We might be far away, but we are, we might be far away from each other, but we are together in the spirit. So tonight, as I have heard so many encouragements to be strong in the Lord and to, in his power and the mind. I just want to say 
that I am really blessed to be among God's chosen people. And we are looking forward, we at the end of this pandemic, for a visit from the brethren. I pray that God will continue to use us, use the brethren to be together in a time like this. So I do hope that this won't be the last session of fellowship online. So God bless each and every one of us tonight. And I'll hand you over to the next person. Good night. Praise the Lord. Thank you very much, Brother Uselmo. And on behalf of all the local elders and traveling elders and traveling deacons, we want to extend our condolences to you and your family. Praise the Lord. Okay, is there anyone else from Guyana? Okay, we would move on now to St. Thomas, brother Knight from St. Thomas. Go ahead, Brother Knight. Not hearing you, Brother Knight. Okay, it seems as though Brother Knight is having some technical difficulties. Uh, we would have to come back to Brother Knight. So we now move on to St. Vincent. Brother Knight, we'll get back to you. So we move on now to St. Vincent. Brother Derek, could you kindly unmute your mic? All right, because of time, I think we'll have to move on, seeing that uh, we cannot get through with Brother Derek. Here he is, Brother Derek. Can you unmute your mic? Yes, Brother James. Brother James, are you hearing me? Yes, Brother, I'm hearing you. Go right ahead. Glory be to God. It's really a divine blessing for us in this time that we can meet in this way. We must say, thank God, in spite of the coronavirus, we are indeed blessed. I'm blessed, hallelujah. 
You know, there are many who look to the negative of the coronavirus. But I will say tonight, if it wasn't for the coronavirus, I will not be in my home and seeing so much of you, brethren. It is indeed a blessing from the bottom of my heart. Psalms once said, Blessed is the man that walketh not in the counsel of the ungodly, not standeth in the way of sinners, nor sitteth in the seats of the scornful. But his delight, hallelujah, his delight is in the law of the Lord. And in his law doeth he meditate, not sometime, not when he feel like, not when, hallelujah, he think, but he meditate day and night. I want us to sing this part. Seems as though we lost Brother Derek. All right. All right. Thank you very much, Brother Derek. Uh, we now move down to Trinidad. Brother Junior. Greetings from the island of Trinidad and Tobago. I greet you on behalf of my loving wife, Claire, and myself, Claire and Junior Thompson, elders in Trinidad and Tobago. We want to thank God for this opportunity to be a part of this new norm as we say where we are gathered together using this medium of zoom to have this meeting i want to thank god for all the brethren who would have prayed for us over the years that, that we are here today by god's grace to continue in strength with our brethren in the things of god but I want to mention today that there are some things that has happened over the period of the COVID season, well, the COVID time, where the churches are under threat. And when I say the churches are under threat, in Trinidad and Tobago, I can tell you, because of the COVID, many churches have closed their doors, and more and uh, and, and more likely you would find more clothes in their doors. I have heard of uh, churches where folks have fell away and have not come back out. And therefore, they, 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 they are among or the congregation, the size of the congregation had diminished. And uh, you know, I want to thank God that God has kept our people, though we are small in numbers, very faithful. And I thank God for faithful servants like yourself as we continue to walk, not by sight, but by faith this evening. I want to thank God for who he is to us. You know, at the beginning of the, the first night of these three nights of meeting, Brother, uh, Brother Lewis was asked to sing a song. I have so much to thank God for, or to thank him for. And we have so much to thank God for. So much to thank him for. There's no, there's no beginning and no end to the, our thanks to him. But we nevertheless, we got to give him thanks. And God is saying to us, fear not. Because in the last days, the scripture say, man heart will fail them for fear. And we are seeing it almost on a daily basis, even the church. I've heard of uh, uh, one pastor said that, you know, he, he, he had enough. He just gave up. And you wonder, you know, in your, in your mind that where, you know, where was he, you know, where was his faith in God all this time? But we are challenged. We are challenged every day, saints. We are challenged, brethren, every day to hold fast to what we know. And, you know, 
God is saying to us, and you know, I can go back to the, the scripture in Deuteronomy where Moses, uh, uh, God spoke to Moses and he told Moses, listen, your time has come. You cannot enter into the promised land. And Moses said to the people, be not afraid. Be of good courage. Fear not. Do not be afraid of them. For the Lord thy God is with you and he would never, neither fail you nor forsake you. And then, he had to, and then God had to speak again to Joshua, the same um, encouragement. I want to encourage us today that we ought to hold fast. There's a scripture that says in uh, Psalms 91, that they that dwelleth in the secret place of the Most High shall abide <clears throat> under the shadow of the Almighty. And once we stay there, once we hold fast to that, to what we know, what we understand to be true, we will get through this pandemic. You know, the love of God is real. I heard many brethren spoke about the love of God. You know, the love of God is still real to us. And if we would hold fast, hold on to what we know to be true, we will get through this. You know, I, you know, I had some scriptures jot down here, but for time, I would just say this. In um, Psalms 139, it says, the psalmist David said, where shall I go from your spirit? Or where shall I flee from your presence? There's no where we can go from the presence of God. God is with us all the time. He said, you know, he gave us that reminder even from Moses' time to the book of Hebrews where we are reminded in chapter 13 and verse 5 again where it says, you know, that God said he will never leave us, neither forsake us. And Psalmist David is able to say, where shall I go from the spirit? Where shall I flee from the presence, from your presence? If I ascend into the heaven, thou art there. If I make my bed in heaven, God forbid, behold, thou art there. Glory be to God. If I take the wings of the morning and dwell in the uttermost parts of the sea, even there shall thy hand lead me and thy right hand shall hold me. That's the love of God towards us. That's the love that we have to, to press on, to march on, to hold fast, to keep us Paul said, to press for the mark, for the prize of the mark of the high calling in Christ Jesus. And the last scripture I want to leave with us, to, you know, is in Romans, and that's a scripture we know well. And this is the encouragement to us as brethren through this pandemic, through this time that. It may seem dark, it may seem chaotic, it may seem confusing sometimes. But if we hold fast, we will get through it because God's promise to us is that I will never leave thee, neither forsake you. And in, 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 in uh, chapter, Romans chapter 8, and it says in uh, verse 31, he said, what shall we say then to these things? If God be for us, who can be against us? It goes down to 35. It says, who shall separate us from the love of Christ? Shall tribulations or distress or persecution or famine or nakedness or peril or sword? I want to ask further, shall pandemic or war, shall COVID or any other thing separate us from the love of God? No. God allowed this for a purpose. And his people, each and every one of us, once we dwell the scriptures say, in that secret place of the Most High God, we will get through it. Glory be to God. In verse 38 it says, For I am persuaded, and this full talk in here, I am persuaded that neither height, nor depth, nor life, nor angels, nor principalities, nor power, nor things present, nor things to come, nor wars, and I'm adding here, nor wars, nor pandemic, nor, nor pestilence, no famine, nothing shall separate us from the love of God. It goes on to say in verse 39, no height, no depth, no any other creature shall be able to separate us from the love of God, which is in Christ Jesus, our Lord. Brethren, this is just but one of the many things that are going to come our way. And if we hold fast, if we stay strong, and if 
as, 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 as Moses, uh, as God spoke to, to, to the children of Israel and to Joshua, be of good courage. Hold fast to what you know to be true. Stand upon that foundation, Christ Jesus being the author and finisher of our faith. May God bless us all this evening. May we be encouraged to just be strong in the Lord and the power of his might. God bless you all tonight. Glory Amen. to God. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Amen. <laughs> I wonder if you hear. You're muted, Brother Bernard. Your mic is muted. Uh... Bernard, there. All right, thank you very much. I think I mute my mic by mistake and I was just speaking. Brother PJ Matthew, would you like to bring greetings, please? <laughs> I was just rejoicing, brother, and I just don't know what really I have to say. I'm so, so delighted to see each one of you. I remember Sushila and I were there for the camp meeting a few years ago. And uh, when I looked at all of you, the, all my memories came back. Such a lively worship, lively camp we had over there. And uh, we are so happy, so happy, so delighted to see every one of you. And uh, we always pray for you guys that God may really bless you, the ministry that you do. And uh, you are not alone. Although we are away, we are all with you. We are praying for you. We work together for the glory of God. May God bless you all. Thank you very much, Brother PJ. And that was PJ Matthew. <laughs> from. <laughs> That's where you're from, Brother Matthew. Yeah, from. Yes, I am from India, but right now in New York. Amen. <laughs> Amen. Thank you, Brother. Thank you. Thank you more. Uh, so far, I think we have come to the end of our our greetings from the brethren and from the your local elders i think we have heard them all except for brother knight we were not able to connect with him somewhat but brethren i want to give god thanks so much that we can come together like this these three nights they were just awesome and god opened the way that he can bring us thus far. You know, I always remember the words of this chorus. The Lord knows the way through the wilderness. All I have to do is follow. And that is what we are going to do, brethren. We are going to follow the Lord every step of the way. Let us continue to be obedient, obedient and to be disciplined according to his will he has a good plan for us let us just walk according to the will of god not my will not our will but let his will be done we really appreciate you uh, traveling elders for taking the time off to be with us here on this platform uh, in our caribbean elders 
deacons and wives meeting. And um, we thank you for sharing with us. The traveling deacons, we really thank you so much for making it possible. Brother Calvin, Brother Crafton, Brother Cephas, we thank you so much for the input uh, that we can be one in this together. Thank you, wives, for all of you wives for coming and supporting your husbands and for hearing what God is saying to the church in this hour. Praise the Lord. I, uh, before we close the session, I also want to, I cannot help but uh, acknowledging Brother Andy. He's not, but he was very instrumental in uh, administrating this platform and in leading us on. Praise the Lord. We thank God for our brother and also for Brother Jeff who co-hosted those meetings. Brother Jeff, thank you again. Words cannot express our thankfulness for the job that you have done. Praise God. All right. I want to take just a few minutes. It wouldn't be long before we close. Everybody to unmute your mic and let us just give the Lord a time of worship. Just praise the Lord together. Every one of us. Praise let us Lord. unmute your mic. Oh, <laughs> 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 Thank you, Brother James. Our Father in heaven, Lord, we're grateful, Lord, for the times that we have like this, that we can be together, Lord, in the spirit and worship you, Lord, and, and hear your word and let it be a part of us, Lord. And it's not a dead word, it's a living word that this uh, leaps in our hearts, Lord, as we hear the things of God your promises, Lord, and your faithfulness to us and how you are encouraging us this in this hour, Lord, to stand strong in that which you are doing on the earth. And we call upon you, Lord, to be very close to us. Everyone that is gathered here tonight, every church that is represented here tonight, 
all the churches throughout the land, Lord, that that believe in you and worship you in spirit and truth, Lord. We ask, especially in the Caribbean, Lord, that you will just bless everyone here and there, and that, Lord, you will protect them, Lord, and watch over them till we meet again. Bless their families, Lord. Bless their children. Bless their flocks, Lord. Bless the, the elders and the deacons in the churches, Lord, and all the ones that are working, Lord, the ministries, Lord, the traveling deacons and elders as they work, Lord, with each, each and all these situations, Lord. And, Lord, that you'll cause us, Lord, to be faithful and walk with you in, in that wonderful love that you have asked us to start showing and Lord, just give us of your love and of your strength, Lord. Touch every member, Lord, and bless us till we meet again. Lord, we give thee the praise, glory, and the honor for all that you have done for us, Lord. We are so grateful. Oh, Lord, to watch over us. Let us all sleep good. And as we worship you tomorrow in the way that we can, Lord, bless our service and our worship. And we give thee the praise again for all you've done and what you've done in these meetings this week. In Jesus' name we pray. In Jesus, the name we love. In Jesus, the name we stand. In the Jesus, the one that we care for. Lord, we call it. We thank you, Lord, for all you've done. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Thank you very much, Brother Rick. Thank you all for And here we now say good night, everyone. Good night to everyone. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. And it's a pleasure meeting you all. God bless. God bless. God bless you all.